What is horticulture? The science and art of growing plants for food, decoration, and environmental improvement is known as horticulture. It includes a variety of tasks such as cultivating decorative plants, fruits, vegetables, and flowers. Horticulture is an integral part of human life and culture, contributing significantly to food security, sustainability, and the aesthetic quality of both urban and rural areas. In this video, we will describe what is horticulture. Number 7. Definition The scientific study and practical application of cultivating and managing plants for a variety of uses, such as food production, ornamental use, and environmental benefit, is the broad field of horticulture. It requires a thorough understanding of soil science, ecology, and plant biology, which enables horticulturists to successfully cultivate a large variety of plant species. This topic includes anything from designing and maintaining gardens and landscapes to growing fruits and vegetables. Horticulturists use a range of methods to maximize plant health and yield, including conducting soil tests to ascertain nutrient requirements, putting in irrigation systems to guarantee a sufficient supply of water, and using pest control measures to shield crops from undesirable organisms. The skill of horticulture is also demonstrated in landscape architecture, where ecological principles and aesthetic considerations are harmonized to produce stunning and useful outdoor environments. This simultaneous emphasis on aesthetics and functionality highlights the critical role that horticulture plays in boosting food security, encouraging biodiversity, and benefiting human well-being by providing access to green spaces. Number 6. Etymology The Latin words cordis, which means garden and cultura, which means cultivation, are the origin of the word horticulture. The field's concentration on smaller-scale cultivation techniques which frequently take place in gardens rather than expansive agricultural fields is highlighted by its etymological background. Horticulture has always been an essential part of human civilization. Early societies planted gardens for spiritual as well as therapeutic and nutritional reasons. Gardens have long been used as status and power markers in various communities, signifying the affluence and closeness of their owners to the natural world. Horticultural evolution can be traced back to a number of cultural traditions that highlight the significance of plants in everyday life. Nowadays, the emphasis is on urban gardening projects that encourage community involvement and local food production. This change demonstrates the value of horticulture in tackling modern issues like food insecurity, urbanization, and environmental degradation while promoting a closer bond between people and the natural world. Number 5. Types of Horticulture there are various specialized branches of horticulture that concentrate on distinct plant species and their use. Pomology is the study of plants that bear fruit, including berries, pears, apples, and cherries. This branch includes choosing high-yielding, disease-resistant, and climate-appropriate cultivars, while also taking flavor profile and post-harvest storage capacity into account. Olericulture is the production of vegetables It focuses on cultivating plants that can be eaten, like broccoli, tomatoes, carrots, and leafy greens. This branch is essential to maintaining food security since it cultivates a variety of vegetable varieties and offers fresh vegetables all year round, encouraging dietary diversity. Floriculture is the study of growing flowers for aesthetic purposes. This includes potted plants for interior decorating and landscaping, as well as cut flowers like lilies and roses. Understanding floral design industry trends and resolving concerns about sustainable flower production are two aspects of horticulture. Viticulture is the branch that focuses on growing grapes for winemaking. It combines knowledge of fermentation processes that affect wine quality with agricultural practices. Terroir or the particular environmental elements that determine grape qualities is also taken into account. Last but not least, landscape horticulture combines plant selection and design concepts to produce useful outdoor areas that improve neighborhood aesthetics and support ecological health through biodiversity. Number 4. Sustainable Practices the concept of sustainability has become fundamental to modern horticulture methods, as knowledge of environmental issues including soil erosion, climate change, water scarcity, and biodiversity loss increases. Growing members of horticulturists are embracing practices that maximize output while leaving the least possible environmental impact. Using natural inputs like cover crops, composted organic matter, and beneficial insects for pest management, organic farming techniques do away with synthetic fertilizers and pesticides. This strategy fosters biodiversity by providing habitats for advantageous creatures like pollinators and predatory insects, while also improving the health of the soil. Using nutrient-rich water solutions, hydroponics enables soilless growing. This approach greatly reduces water usage as compared to conventional soil-based agriculture and permits year-round production in urban settings with limited space. In a closed-loop system that recycles nutrients between species, aquaponics combines fish farming and plant culture. This reduces the waste outputs usually associated with conventional farming methods and creates a sustainable environment that benefits both crops and aquatic life. 
By integrating cultural measures like crop rotation with biological control techniques like introducing natural predators, as well as minimum chemical treatments where needed, integrated pest management takes a comprehensive approach to pest management. By protecting natural resources for future generations, these sustainable approaches not only improve crop resilience but also support the long-term health of ecosystems. Number 3. Nutritional Importance Horticultural crops have a significant nutritional impact. They are vital providers of vitamins, minerals, fiber, antioxidants, and other phytochemicals that are necessary for sustaining health. A balanced diet must include both fruits and vegetables, since they are full of nutrients that help ward off chronic conditions including obesity, heart disease, diabetes, hypertension, and some types of cancer. To support general health and well-being, the World Health Organization recommends ingesting at least five servings of fruits and vegetables daily. However, many communities fail to meet this requirement because of things like fresh produce's pricing or availability. As a means of growing a wide range of crops that are adapted to different temperatures and geographical locations across the globe, horticulture is essential to guaranteeing food access. Local horticultural initiatives are becoming more and more important in addressing these challenges as urban populations grow in food deserts areas without access to fresh produce become more common due to socioeconomic factors or shortcomings in urban planning. Through community gardens or urban farms, residents can receive fresh fruits and vegetables directly while also fostering social connections among community members. Furthermore, nutrition-focused educational initiatives can empower people with information about good eating habits and promote sustainable practices that improve the health of customers and boost local economies. Number 2. Economic Impact Horticulture has a huge economic impact since it produces high-value crops that, because of their demand in local markets and export potential throughout international supply chains, frequently earn higher profits than traditional staple crops like grains or legumes. Due to its profitability, the industry receives funding for research and development, which advances both plant breeding methods and nutritional content through strategies for biofortification targeted at vulnerable populations facing global malnutrition challenges. Plant breeding techniques aim to increase crop resilience against pests and diseases. The horticultural industry supports a wide range of jobs across multiple industries, such as retail garden centers catering directly to consumers, research institutions focused on sustainable agriculture practices, education programs aimed at preparing future horticulturists and entrepreneurs interested in agribusiness ventures and small-scale family farms alongside large-scale operations employing advanced technologies. Together, these sectors contribute to regional economic development efforts aimed at improving livelihoods within communities reliant upon agriculture-based economies. Furthermore, local food movements like farmers' markets and community-supported agriculture initiatives support direct sales between producers and consumers while building community economic resilience by keeping profits local as opposed to funneling them into far-off corporate entities that are frequently cut off from the needs and preferences of their clientele. Number 1. Cultural Significance in many different societies around the world, horticulture is highly valued for its practical applications as well as for its ability to enhance cultural identities through the establishment of gardens that serve as areas for leisure, relaxation, introspection, community involvement, and spiritual connection with the natural world. Gardens that showcase distinctive styles reflecting local custom significance tied to specific plant styles unique to particular regions for example, Japanese Zen gardens embodying principles of simplicity and tranquility, versus Mediterranean gardens emphasizing drought-resistant plants suited for arid climates, can symbolize cultural heritage through traditional gardening practices passed down through generations. Furthermore, through encouraging connections between people and nature and encouraging physical activity and healing outdoor settings, horticultural therapy employs gardening activities as therapeutic tools to improve mental health outcomes among a variety of populations, including those recovering from trauma or disabilities. Horticulture improves public places green such as parks and urban gardens and supports local wildlife habitats with native plantings which improves community well-being and biodiversity. Urban horticulture planning can help make cities greener and improve the quality of life for residents by addressing issues like air quality and urban heat reduction. It can also create opportunities for educational outreach programs that focus on environmental stewardship and sustainability, inspiring future generations to value and appreciate nature around them. This thorough investigation demonstrates the remarkable breadth of horticulture's importance in many different contexts. If you liked our video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel.